My name is Ken McKenzie and I'm the International Sales Manager at Huber Calter Machine and Bell. We're showing here temperature control solutions for a variety of applications from small reactors to large reactors and also some an interesting new software tool we believe might be interesting to chemists. A major market for us is of course the chemical and pharmaceutical industry and within that is encompassed petrochemical, fine chemical, uh, APIs and so on. So this would be uh, the main reason we're here at Acuma. The Unistat 410W is a, a small bench top unit but with a, lo a lot of punch. It's a water cooled unit which means we can have a smaller condenser which obviously contributes to its small size. But as we can see here, it really does control a rather large reactor for its size. The name of the software is Explore. We've called it Explore because it helps the chemist explore his chemistry. To demonstrate the Explore software, we're simulating a reactor using a, another thermostat. The reason we're doing that is so that we can adjust the heating value to simulate an exothermic reaction. We've connected the Petty Fleur to the cooling coil immersed inside the simulated process and by adjusting the heat in the simulated process we can see the effect on the differences in temperature between the process temperature, the jacket temperature and the return temperature of the heat transfer fluid coming back to the thermostat. The yellow is the set point, the red is the process temperature, the important temperature and the green is the heat transfer fluid temperature or if you like the jacket temperature. I can scroll through the screens to take a closer look at the relationship between those curves and the final screen shows me in a snapshot the differences in temperature between the internal or the jacket temperature and the return temperature, the heat transfer fluid, the process temperature and the jacket temperature and the difference between the process temperature and the temperature of the thermal fluid as it returns to the stat. And by using a simple ball valve, can adjust the flow rate of the thermal fluid and see what effect that has on the control of the reaction. We see the future of our equipment in material testing and the aerospace automotive industries, as well as in developing markets as they improve their laboratories for traceable, reliable equipment and as foreign companies open facilities in these developing sectors.